to Fayetteville, Arkansas. Ron Dickerson, the first down reception gain of eight as the Arkansas Razorbacks get it for the first time and have moved the ball well. Out to their 46, no score. Clock in the first quarter at 10:41 with Charlene Hawks and Craig James. This is Kevin Harlan. Happy holidays to you all. LSU had the ball for a handful of plays and punt it. And this is Arkansas's first possession today here in their final game. 11 seniors down the field for Arkansas in their final game at home. Aster Malone breaking free, turning out about 10 yards over the left side. Tremendous blocking is Vincent Fuller. And all season long. And they're opening up hole like that one right there for E.D. Jackson for the 31 of LSU. And they've been running the first and 10. One E.D. Jackson in the open field inside the 10 and down near the 6. That's a first down run throughout this season. First and goal. Jackson, look at him, bulldozes his way in for a touchdown. It's third and one. Oscar Malone with the first down and more to the 40-yard line of LSU. Gain of <laughs> Second down, 30. Robert Davis wrapped up onto the 17. Tackle made by Tuber. I don't think he got it. This is the recruiting momentum. 11th play of the Bayou Bengal Drive. Down 6 nothing. Tuber. I don't think he has it. We're going to be talking with him a little bit later on as Charlene downstairs. Dangerous pass, going to talk to E.D. Jackson. He's got the first down. And he's into LSU territory. And uh, the next day, they had a press conference, and, and about 20 representatives from the team made statements totally in support of the coach. Kevin? All right, Charlene, it was second and 10. Hello, big hole. Look at him, Kareem. He's got a first down. to extend the Arkansas lead. It's got distance. He's got it. High snap. Everything going right for the Razorbacks of Arkansas today, and everything is back. For Curly Holm, the coach of LSU. In a game where Arkansas players are trying to save the job of their interim head coach, Joe Kimes, they have responded in kind with a 9 and nothing lead at halftime. LSU will try to figure out how not to bobble things in the second half. From these whole cities. First and 10 for Barry Lunny, and he has a nice pass on the fly, caught by Tracy Caldwell. It is a first. Good block by the running back. And a good strike. This is going to be six folks. Touchdown, Arkansas. Barry Lunny, he knows he's got it out there. He's got to take advantage of the one-on-one. -on -one. The blitz is picked up. Gives him time. Throws the strike. Yesterday, as we have seen, the Dickerson... I think that's why the players like him so much. I mean, he, they, they know that he really cares about them. David Butler, he's got a world of speed. Oh, what a hit! David Butler. And this, folks, is what we mean when we say in your face. Beautiful. First and ten. Look at the time for the freshman. Intercepted, picked off by Orlando Waters. Everything is going the way of Arkansas. Good time. Look at this. Kurt Fotkin. The tight end, Carl Johnson. And he's picked up a first down for the 
second time by the Arkansas secondary and Dean Peavy. Like that, you got to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just like you do on the run. Oscar Malone, look at him break tackles. Folks, it's another six for Arkansas. is the final score. And now for Craig James and Charlotte Hawks. This is Kevin Harlan. Now let's go to ESPN's Sports Center Studio. 